What's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about three keys for maximizing your profit from the next wave, the next refi wave that's coming soon to a town near you, hopefully in mid or early 2024, and how to win while you wait. Now, you've probably already noticed, of course, rates have been dropping as of late. There's promising signs in the economy that inflation is dropping, that there is a shift to having lower rates coming and having even more uh, significant rate cuts in 2024. So those are all good signs, right? We're all about it. It's going to increase the amount of demand for purchases. It's going to increase the amount of demand for refis. And that means more demand for you and what you do as a mortgage pro. So those are all good things. We love it when the wind is in our back, not in our face. And when there are congenial conditions to cash in on all that you do to help people get into a home of their own, the pride of home ownership, getting out of the suck of renting and building equity in their own home, creating generational wealth through the power of home ownership, lowering their monthly expenses by refinancing at a lower cost, a lower rate, getting access to cash from the equity they have. All these things are awesome. But of course, when rates are up and there's a small amount of inventory and there's hyper competition and margin compression, it's tough. You guys have lived through it over the last two years if you've been in the business that long. And so you know how welcome it is to have fairer weather when it comes to market conditions. We're going to take it all day long. So I want to share with you some ways to cash in on the opportunities as rates go down and as more and more demand for mortgages starts to increase. We want to be able to position you to cash in on those opportunities. So today we're going to talk about that, but we're also going to talk about how to win while you wait, how to shift your mindset and your approach to your marketing such that you don't really care that much about rates or the economy or market conditions because you win regardless, you prosper regardless, you thrive regardless. And we want to get you out of the up and down roller coaster ride from suck from hell, where you're constantly worrying about the next market shift and the next market storm because you don't have the ability to be impervious to those market conditions such that you're on this roller coaster ride. It's no way to live to be living in a up and down roller coaster ride from hell when you want consistency, when you want peace of mind, when you want reliable revenue. We don't want to be living in this worrying what next storm might be coming prison. You know that, I know that. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about how we can Build your house on rock versus building it on the quicksand. How to make yourself least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most, but also when market upturns happen, how to cash in, cha-ching, cha-ching, how to cash in on the fair weather in the market. So first key I want to talk about is stop seeing yourself as a wave surfer and start being a system builder. Get out of being a wave surfer and get into being a system builder. Now, don't get me wrong. I love surfing. I suck at it. <laughs> it's hard as hell. Any of you guys who've tried surfing, it is not easy, but it's fun. And once you ride that wave, you get the exhilaration. Like that is so fun to ride that wave. You get the energy of the ocean propelling you. There's nothing quite like it. But we don't want to apply that same thrill-seeking and very temporary thrill at that mentality to your marketing and to your business because it's temporary. We don't want to just ride a wave and then be waiting. We don't want to just wait for that next wave and just be sitting there waiting. We want to be riding wave after wave after wave consistently and to have a system for it. I have a surf boat. Great thing about a surf boat is you got wave on demand, right? It's like you just fire that bad boy up. You fill up the uh, containers of water in your ballast and then you ride a wave on demand. It's paid to play. You got to pay for it. It's not cheap. But the great thing is 
you got waves on demand. We want to create waves on demand in your business. And there's a system for that. It's called your marketing and owning your marketing versus being owned by the market. Just like there's a system for creating waves called a wave boat or a wake surf boat. You want to be able to create consistent waves so you're thriving consistently because these wave surfers in the mortgage business, a lot of them got chewed up and spat out over the last two years. A lot of them are clinging by their fingernails, wondering how they're going to survive for the next six months as they're still waiting for rates to drop more to cash in on the next rate refi wave. And so one of the things that's great about surfing is it's fun when you ride the wave. What kind of sucks about it in a way is that you're either getting pummeled by the waves as you're trying to paddle back to the area, the safe zone outside of the impact zone where you're still waiting for the next wave to come. And of course, you're in competition for that one spot, that one point spot on the wave where it really peels the peak spot, right? Right where it starts to peel. Everyone's in competition. Everyone's in a line line for that. When you have a surf boat, you don't have to wait. You don't have to be in competition for anyone except for the fact that you've got a cycle of anyone who's in the boat who wants their next turn, but it's exclusive, right? It's exclusive to your boat. If you want to go next, you're going next. If you want to stay behind the boat for an hour, you can stay behind the boat for an hour. It's just a matter of how much gas do you have in the tank and how much time do you have to stay out there? So I want you to start to create that kind of a mindset in your identity where you have a system. You've got a surf boat. You're not just a surfer in competition for limited waves, waiting in turn, getting pummeled by the impact zone when it, those waves are just crashing over your head. And if you're anything like me, you're just getting pummeled by the waves. And then when you are out there, you're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. And you can be out there for like two hours or an hour and maybe catch a few waves. If you're like me, it's like you're out there and it's a whole lot of squeeze and not a whole lot of juice, but it's so fun when it happens, it keeps you in the game. Some of you, like it's so exhilarating to make, you know, champion money, hero money in this business. When times are good, you stay in. But then when times are bad, it sucks. You're getting pummeled. You're in competition for a limited number of waves and the waves are not coming and you're just waiting. And meanwhile, you're bleeding financially. We got to get you out of that surfer mentality and get you being a system builder with your own wake surf boat where you're, you have a system where you can thrive consistently. And so how are we going to do that? Well, let's move on to key number two. Key number two is use technology to your advantage. Use technology to your advantage. I can't tell you how many mortgage pros I see. They don't even use a CRM. Or if they do have one, they don't really know how to use it. You know, garbage in, garbage out. And so if you don't have your data segregated with all the data you need to be able to target the right people at the right time with the right message, then it doesn't really mean much. It doesn't help much. Garbage in, garbage out. So you want to have data and the ability to pull data such that when rates go down to a certain threshold, you can pull data of everyone who's got a rate at this level and above. And then you can target those people because you know mathematically the money math is such that chances are doing a refinance is going to be an appealing invitation to them. They're going to be able to save money, lower their monthly payments, et cetera. So you want to be able to extract and segregate specific segments of your database based on quality, accurate data in your database. Again, garbage in, garbage out. Make sure your data is quality and accurate so you can segregate that data and pull segregated lists based on the type of people you're wanting to target. As rates go down, there's going to be a bigger pool of people who will definitely want to hear from you and will definitely have an advantage to do a refinance. So that's one piece. Now, we also want to make sure we're using multimedia so multiple media, a lot of you guys, you're leaving a ton of money on the table because you're not using text messaging enough. You're just using email. Text messaging is the holy grail of communications nowadays. Yeah, 
instant message through Instagram or Facebook is another great way too. But text message, if I had to just choose one method to communicate with prospects, clients, referral partners, it would be text messaging. The question is, do you have systems in place to be able to automate the process of reaching out to the right people at the right time with the right message using multiple media, email, text message, phone, outbound calls, direct message through social media, direct mail. Are you using the full suite of marketing communications or are you sitting on a one-legged stool with email? If you're just primarily using email, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. I can promise you that. So consider using as many media types as possible. You also want to be able to get people on the phone. That's where all the magic happens, guys, is getting them on the phone. Now, there's standard campaigns you can use, like asking for a review ask after you close a deal. I'm surprised how many mortgage pros, even those that have been in the business for decades, don't have a consistent, reliable system for getting five-star reviews from their happy clients post-closing. It's one of the biggest game changers we provide our clients here on Planet Prosper at MortgageMarketingCoach.com is just giving them a system to do that. And not just a system for getting internal reviews, but a system for getting reviews on the most important review sites. And that's not just Zillow, by the way, if you're in the US, it's Google. Google is the 8,000 pound gorilla in the space. And if you're not getting five-star reviews on Google, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. So you need a system for that. But guess what? Who's the best person to ask for a referral? Someone who just gave you a five-star review. Think about it. That's your brand ambassador in the making. That's your raving fan in the making. So why not have a campaign where you're specifically asking for referrals of people who are giving you a five-star review? Your happy clients, best source of referrals ever. So again, you need a system for that. You need your CRM to help you govern those ongoing campaigns. This is a wake surf boat. You're not just bobbing in the water, hoping for the next roller to come in. And meanwhile, going broke while you're waiting. You've got waves on demand. And that's the key to thriving, not just surviving and thriving and winning in any market, not just a fair weather market. The third tip I want to give you around using technology is let the money math and their why for the financial advantage that they would gain by refinancing, do all the selling for you. Let me say that again. Let the money ma math and the advantages that that reduced cost or the access to cash would give them such that that why does all the heavy lifting for them. Remember, people don't want a one inch drill bit. They want the one inch hole that the one inch drill bit creates. Likewise, people don't want mortgages. They want what the mortgage can get them. The pride of home ownership, getting out of the suck of making their landlord rich, getting into a home of their own, building generational wealth, building equity in their own home, a safe, beautiful neighborhood, a home that they can be proud of access to cash if they're in financial hot water, access to cash for a multitude of reasons. We'll get into that in a moment. But again, it's all about their why. It's all about the money math making sense, no pun intended. It's got to make dollars and cents, right, for them. And there's a why behind why they'd want to execute on that refinance or that purchase that is in their heart, in their mind, your goal is to uncover what that why is and to show them how to go from where they are to where they want to be using the vehicle called your advice, your counsel, your guidance, and your mortgage. But at the end of the day, they don't give a rat's ass about mortgages. What they care about is getting to the outcome that that mortgage will get them in their life. So always think benefits versus features. The feature is the one inch drill bit. Look at this amazing one inch drill bit. Wow, look at this. It's incredible. It's got all this horsepower. It's, it's got all these different settings. It's got this, you know, super galactic trigger you can pull. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, well, that's really cool to have a, a power drill with a one inch drill bit, but who really cares unless I want a one inch hole? It's the one inch hole that I'm looking for, not the one inch drill bit. So keep that in mind as well. 
So let's talk for the newbies in the house. I know you veterans, you probably already have this figured out. You've done this time and time again. For the newbies in the house, let's talk about five common reasons to refinance, okay? Because it's important to see the full suite of the reasons why people would want to refinance as rates go down. You want to make sure you're putting the five reasons why they'd want to refinance in their face consistently because out of sight, out of mind, you're going to want to trigger it in their mind by presenting this on your social media, presenting it by text, presenting it by email, putting it in their face, having a system. Remember, we're looking for the consistent on-demand wave, which means you need to be a system builder, not a once in a while wave surfer. Okay. And so what are those five reasons for refinancing? Well, the first is reducing their monthly expenses, right? Their monthly payments, obviously. The second one would be debt consolidation. A lot of people with inflation as of late and the cost of living going up have gotten themselves in a lot of hot water with high interest debt on credit cards or lines of credit. And so you can certainly help them get out of hot water at a lower cost of borrowing as rates go down by taking them out of high interest credit into lower interest credit and their cost of borrowing goes way down. They sleep way better at night as a result. Uh, home renovations. They may want to do some re renovations instead of, uh, you know, getting into a new home, just renovate the home they have, do some strategic renovations that increases the value of the property. And at the same time, makes their home more enjoyable to live in more expansive, more elbow room, more functional. The fourth reason for refinancing is maybe buying a second home or a second property or vacation home or an investment property, uh, cash flow property. And so uh, again, remind people that they can use the equity in their home to build generational wealth and tap that equity to turn it into even more equity, even more wealth and increase their net worth as a result. Another reason for refinance, the fifth reason is pay for a big expense. It might be they have a business and they need capital to do an expansion project with their business, or maybe their kid is going through university or college and they need access to that instead of, you know, being into the in the noose of financial debt with a student loan, whatever that might look like. There's so many different reasons why people want to get access to cash. Maybe they have a huge bill owing to the government and they need to get out of hot water and out of arrears with the government with their taxes or their business corporate taxes or whatever it might be. So Keep those in mind and make sure you're beating that drum like a cheap rap song when it comes to the reasons, the five reasons why it makes sense for people to refinance, especially as rates go down. Make sure you have a campaign, an ongoing campaign where you're constantly in front of them with educational advice and counsel on different nuances, things to consider as it relates to how the mortgage tool can help them become more financially savvy and accelerate their wealth. It's all about accelerating their wealth and reducing their liabilities from a standpoint of dumb liabilities, you know, things that make them broke and strategic liabilities like their mortgage that can help to actually accelerate their wealth if they use it wisely. Your job is to give them the counsel to use it wisely and strategically. Now, the third key that I want to talk about for maximizing your profit from the next refi wave and win while you wait is to win while you wait by building your dream team. Win while you wait by building your dream team. What do I mean by that? Well, you and I both know if you've gone through the recent storm or multiple storms over multiple decades, you know that every time rates go up, the bedrock of this business, the most reliable, consistent, dependable source of business is and always will be the purchase business. Because regardless of rates, inventory, inflation, people keep getting into the market, moving up in the market, getting married, getting divorced and dying. And all those require transactions. They might as well have your name on them. But if you're a wave surfer and you're living and dying on the next refi wave, then you're going broke every time rates go down. That's no way to live. Or rather, every time rates go up, you're going broke and you're bleeding financially and you're living on savings or you're cramming your life in a smaller budget box, living in I can't afford a prison. That's no way to live. 
And so the key to winning while you wait is to build a rock solid dream team of top producing realtors who are least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most. Because think about it. If you had your wagon hitched to mediocre or middle of the road realtors two years ago, when inflation really started to kick in, all of a sudden rates are going up and all of a sudden the demand for mortgages goes way down. The demand for purchasing properties goes way down. What happened to the mediocre middle when it comes to realtors out there? They all went to JLB prison, right? They all either got back to selling solar, driving Uber, getting a JLB somewhere. And those are the ones that are first and most affected by market downturns versus least and last. And so if you hitch your wagon to a dream team of the mediocre middle, you're getting your ass kicked because you are being directly impacted by the level of success or failure of your dream team. Now, conversely, if you're aligning yourself with top producing realtors that are doing 15, 20 plus buyer sides a year consistently, and then of course, there's the market purge with hyper competition, margin comp compression, inflation, and rates going way up. What happens to their business? Well, yeah, their business may be affected as well. Their business may stagnate instead of grow. It may even regress a bit, but they're not leaving the business. If anything, they're taking market share. More often than not, the top producers are usually the ones that are taking market share, that are gobbling up the business that the mediocre middle are leaving on the table by virtue of going back to nine to five prison. So when you align yourself with the top producers, you're insulating yourself from these market storms. You become least and last affected versus first and most. And the cool thing is you don't need 40, 50, 60, 80 of these top producing realtors to get you making freedom money, surgeon money, do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want money, peace of mind money. You don't need that many. You maybe need seven to 15 that send you one, two, three deals a month. Seven to 15 that send you at least one deal a month and you're making consistent surgeon money, freedom money, day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out, regardless of what the economy is doing. Can you see how much more peace of mind that gives you? But you might be thinking, Doran, those guys already have their lender. How am I going to get in with them? Well, that's precisely why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage pros hire us because it's not an easy code to crack. You can't just Google search it, right? You can't just look it up on the web and voila, you got a three-minute or a 10-minute video on YouTube that explains that stuff. It's not out there. All that stuff is just hype and fluff and hollow. It doesn't give you the real meat. So the key, though, is you got to set yourself up with your heart and mind, knowing that that's the holy grail of success in this business and how to win in any market. And the great thing is, is when you align with these top producers, when rates go down and demand for properties goes up, what happens to the amount of referrals you get from those partners? It goes way up with the demand, right? So you want to cash in on the re next refi wave. Build your dream team of top producing partners now. Align yourself with top producing partners now. Get yourself on the speed dial of top producing realtors now. And then when rates go down and demand goes up, you're going to be perfectly positioned to prosper from the increased demand. And when rates go up again, you're cool as a cucumber because you know the purchase business is always going to be hopping. It's always going to have transactions. There's always going to be demand for what you do. While everyone else who was relying on refis is leaving the business again, and you're taking market share, and you're dominating your market, and you're winning in any market. That's my goal for you. And I trust that's your goal for you too. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening to this. You wouldn't be watching this. So... The question is, how do you do that, right? How do you build that dream team? How do you develop these systems? How do you create your own wave, wave surfing boat versus just bobbing in the water, hoping for the next wave and going broke while you're waiting? How can you create waves on demand? How can you create those campaigns, those systems, plug and play turnkey? How can you have a system that allows you to attract top producing realtors to make you their exclusive? without the hell of begging, bribing, or kissing butts. 
Could you imagine that to be able to have such a compelling value, value proposition that you have the cookie, such a compelling value proposition that you become the welcome guest versus the annoying pest, such a kick-ass value proposition and so compelling that you can pick and choose the partners you want to work with. And you have a system by which you can fill your pipeline. You can fill your dream team with as many partners, quality partners, successful partners as you want. And you become irreplaceable and indispensable. They send you all their business all the time. That is indeed the holy grail of this business. True or not true. So if you'd like to learn more about how to take advantage of the next wave, the next refi wave to the maximum cash in, not leaving any money on the table, but more importantly, to win in any market, not just a fair weather market. So you're winning while you're waiting. You're making freedom money, regardless of rates, inventory, inflation, or competition. If that's you, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where we lift up the hood on your business. You'll get on the phone with me or one of my consultants. We're just going to have an honest conversation about where you're at, where you want to be. And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business and bridge that gap, we'll show you what that looks like inside of our proven system at mortgagemarketingcoach.com. And if not, we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, our goal for you out of that conversation is to give you massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we're going to have some fun along the way. So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you, go ahead and book a call right here, right now. It's 100% complimentary at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. This is the first, uh, rather, this is the best time right here, right now to be able to tap into the power of clarity before we turn another page for another year. And before you get into marketing mode on January 1st, you want to have a crystal clear, powerful, effective marketing strategy. You want to have the mindset and the skill set to hit the ground running and to make 2024 your absolute best year yet, regardless of the economy, regardless of inflation, regardless of rates or inventory. And that's precisely what we would be giving you and the clarity you need to plan in advance, prepare in advance to make 2024 the best year you've ever had, period, end of story. Double or even triple your income in the next year just by building a dream team of top producing realtors who send you all their business all the time. And to build a system, instead of just being a wave surfer, you have a system to create waves on demand, be a system builder. So if you're into that, if you're open to that, if you're eager to learn the secret sauce to create that in your life, in your business, book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you today. What we just talked about today is three keys for maximizing your profit from the next refi wave and how to win while you wait. We talked about key number one, stop being a wave surfer and start being a system builder. We talked about key number two, use technology to your advantage. For example, CRM, there's systems like HomeBot, Home IQ in the US that are great for tapping into information about equity in the client's respective homes. Very powerful technology. You want to use it to your advantage. And then key number three is win while you wait by building a dream team of top producing realtors who send you all their business all the time. So you're making freedom money regardless of market conditions. Thanks for hanging with me. Trust you got some value from this. My name is Dorn Aldana, the mortgage marketing coach. If you dig this, give us a five-star review on Spotify or iTunes or wherever you find your podcast. If indeed, you are getting this through our podcast, please give us some love, give us some affirmation, confirmation we're on the right track and that we're giving you meaningful value. If you're watching this live on Facebook, give us a, a shout out, give us a comment and we'd love to hear some love from you as well. Give us a thumbs up, a heart, something to let us know you're alive, you're hearing us, you're getting the message, you're getting the value and you want more of what we got in store. All right, guys, be blessed. We'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all. Thanks for hanging with us.